Okay, let me uh, create a file over in Word. So, hello, Mom. Everything is going well. Okay, I will save that. And I'm going to save it um, in my temp folder. Which I got a lot of different files in, in located under that. Okay. Hello, Mom. That's, that's good enough, I guess. Okay. So I'm going to close that out. Okay, now this is um, Passmarks OS Forensics. And um, this is one of them that was on the um, DVD. And we'll just continue uh, using the free version. And you got a lot of different uh, options over here. Manage case, file name search. Um, then in here you also have some some different options. Now this may look a little bit different uh, than what you'll see in the book. Um, so you have to kind of play around with a little bit to, to see where everything is located. Uh, for example, in the book it says in the OS Forensics main window, notice the viewer section in the right pane. We got over here the viewers, but uh, from what I can see, this doesn't look like anything in the book. <laughs> Click file in uh, hex viewer, so that's this one right here. And then we want to point it to um, the file we created. So I'll go to my C drive, go to my temp, and I'll sort by date so I can easily see which one I uh, have. There it is. Choose that, and then I choose open. And you see it pops up with the uh, with the file information. See if I can change the size of that. There it is. Uh, text only. Image is not supported. Um, we got our viewer here, hex string viewer. Probably not going to be very beneficial. But then again, if we got a file that uh, we don't know what format is, this allows you to to view uh, that. And, certain manner. Let's see if I can make that there. Make it bigger. Okay. You see you got settings.xml here. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, text viewer shows you this. Uh, file info. So we got our um, size. Uh, size on disk when it was created. Modified when it was access, last accessed. Now, when I say access, they're talking about from within um, Word, of course. Uh, the attributes that go on with it. And then meta metadata, if I had any, would be over here. I guess it just took a while. I thought I didn't have any when it wasn't coming up. Okay. Now, if you see some of the some of the file permissions look like uh, Linux, though we're on a Windows Windows box. Tells you a template might go along with it. Um, Characters or spaces, uh, about any piece of information you'd probably need. Now, I want you to um, to create a file, and then with this utility to to bring up this information, and then I'm gonna have you do some screenshots on on this information. And um, there's other ways you can do this, but uh, this is the way we'll do it here. Specifically, I'm gonna have you bring up the file info, do a screenshot of this. And how you do that in Word is you do a print screen, and then you go over to Word and you, you do a paste, paste it in. For example, if I press my print screen button here, now if I bring up Word, and then do a paste, it'll bring in that, uh, that page. The second page I want you to to do a screenshot of is the metadata. So you bring up the metadata here and do a print screen and come over here and paste it in and then you'll submit this uh, Word document for the assignment. This just shows you that you know how to um, access the, this information. Now I don't remember the exact details but um, one of the ways they caught the um, uh, BTK killer 
is a uh, found some information uh, stored in a I'm not sure if it's a deleted file or not but it was stored here and it the information led back to back to that church and so they were able to figure it out um, based upon some of this information I suppose who your owner is if I had to guess like I say I haven't read I haven't read much about it just kind of you know if you're says last modified by and it said the the Baptist Church of um, of Hayesville or you know whatever whatever church it was then uh, that knows we know where to go to look okay I'll go ahead and close that and um, that's how you can uh, view um, various information about um, about that particular um, about the particular file